Greetings, beloved brethren. I pray that all is well with everyone. Um, I just want to come and encourage us to make sure that we're living a balanced life. We who are followers of Christ Jesus, we must be on our watch day and night, you know, whenever it is that the Lord has called you to have your schedule or whatever. We must be on our post. So many of us are trying to enjoy this, do this, do that. But we're not living a balanced life. You must be on your post. If you don't know what your post is, get alone with God and find out who you are and what he has. it is that he has specifically put into your hands. Um, it's really, really important, especially in this day and time. Um, it's, I mean, since the pandemic, wow. I mean, just everything has just... Um, I mean, there have been, you know, some good things come about, of course, but there's been a lot of negative things that have come about as well. It's like the world had has just went crazy. It's it's that time, you know, it's it's that time. It's it's warming up. It is warmed up um, and it's just out of control right now it's, it's really out of control and we as followers of Christ Jesus we must be on our post you know wherever we uh, have found ourselves or wherever the Lord has placed us we must be preaching the word of God we must be preaching Jesus we must be, be preaching that we must repent okay for the kingdom of of God is at hand. We must be preaching that everywhere we go, however the Lord has placed it into your hand, we must be doing it. You know, uh, so many are trying to party and uh, enjoy family time and things like that. But I mean, like all the time, not any balance again no balance to the life uh there must you know you must be doing the work of the lord and if there you know if you are to be doing you know other things then for recreation or whatever um <clears throat> it, it has to be done i was just uh doing something on facebook and just noticed Again, uh, there's an active shooter in one of our uh, northern suburbs. And I'm like, wow, you know, because of the the fourth or whatever, they were having a parade. So they have an active shooter or somebody that uh, as right now, as of right now, as I'm speaking, I don't know if they found out who the person is or whatever. So but but there's been, I think, maybe 12 or more people who were. Uh, shot and there's about five or six that have been fatally uh, killed and I was just thinking about how these people did all of this preparation because I didn't know you know I don't keep up with all of that kind of stuff uh, as far as you know holidays and what they're going to be doing but I would I thought what I think you know the way they normally do things and from what my understanding was that they, you know, they, you know, you do stuff, uh, you know, like ahead of the, uh, the particular date, like today is the 4th of July. I thought that all of the festivities would happen on the weekend, but this is Monday, 4th of July. So they're doing, there are a lot of the, uh, the northern suburbs and things like that. And Northwest suburbs, I guess we're doing, and I guess anybody, I don't know, <laughs> Uh, were doing their parades and festivities today. And, you know, they did, a, you know, there's a lot of preparation that went into that. You know what I mean? There, There's food, there's organization, there's coordination, you know, purchasing things and lining the streets with, you know, seats so that people can sit and uh, rehearsals for the bands and you know, all of these different festivities, how many of those people, uh, you know, that are, do, are doing all of these things, how many are saved? How many of them are saved? You know, and, and on the battle line, excuse me, the battlefield, sorry, on the battlefield for the Lord, you know, we got to be on the battlefield for the Lord so that we can um 
can be uh, getting people into the camp of the Lord versus the camp of evil. Because, I mean, people have, I mean, this it's just been so crazy, you know. I mean, it's the, the reports, like every now and again, I'll see something and I'm like, wow, you know, wow, 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 you know. Uh, but it's happening, and it's happening more so because people are not saved. And the people who call themselves saved, they're not doing the work of the Lord. They're busy inside of buildings, you know, honoring and worshiping buildings and religious leaders if they're doing that. Uh, but otherwise, people are trying to enjoy themselves and have different recreations and parties and you know and all of this kind of stuff and I understand peace of mind because there are things I like to do for peace of mind and they keep me grounded you understand um but no more of no parties and stuff like that I have no desire for stuff like that and you know for the for the longest of time. Even then, I didn't have a desire for it. But we have to change our desires. Um, we have to change our desires. We have to, you know, walk in the spirit so that we do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And I know sometimes it's hard because all of your friends, all of your family, all the people you know are doing that. So you don't want to feel like an eyeball. But you it's either that you love God or you love the world and the things of the world. So let us be very, very careful, uh, you know, what we're out here doing. And find out what you have been called to do because, you know, this, <laughs> just that's my encouragement to you today. <clears throat> to all of us, to myself, of course, as well. I'm not exempt in any way. I'm not some... Uh, high flyer or something like that I'm just doing the best I can from what I know uh, with God <clears throat> and <clears throat> and that and uh, you know things change on a daily basis in my life basically you know and uh, yeah I'm just you know I'm still studying still learning still growing you know um, but the best I try to do is keep my hands and my heart clean with God and uh, you know and individuals and what like and things like that and I try to do my best to spread the word of God and what not um, and I think that's really important for us to do in any platform that you have um, do what you can even if it's just uh, passing out fly, uh, what do you call those uh, oh boy you know, the things, uh, tracks or something like that. And just pray, Lord, give me opportunity to speak to people. Give me a mouth and wisdom to speak with people so that, and, and to honor you and, you know, and help people because people need Jesus. The reason why people's minds are gone is because they don't have the mind of Christ and they don't have a spirit of God within them, you know, and they're just losing it. They're unsettled. They have no peace. They have no joy. They have no purpose. You know what I mean? So let our aim be for Christ. You know, if there's something, you know, you'd like to do or whatever for recreation or something like that, you know, just let it be honorable in the Lord, you know, because this is really, really... Um, Anyway, but like I was saying, there, and then there's just, like I said, so many people um, that did all of this preparation and whatnot, and I feel bad for them uh, for, on so many levels because, one, they're unsaved. Two, this doesn't happen in their neighborhood. This is one of these neighborhoods, are one of these safer, in quote, neighborhoods, you know, uh, communities where they don't think that anything could touch them. Is you know because it's some of them, I, like sometimes I'll say, I'll have something that I you know for free that I would you know that I'm giving away, and some of them if I you know if I say um, tell them where I live oh, no I, I can't I'm not coming there or I can't come there or 
um, you know, the way they talk as if they're living in a, a safe zone. It's like, you know, that's, you know, you, you have the wrong understanding about where you, where you, who, where you are. You, any place can be touched by uh, every and sin and, and, and tragedy, you know. Um, and I don't live in a bad uh, community or anything like that, but, uh, you know, they'll make you sure feel like you do when they get finished. So I don't, oh, no. Um, I, you know, and it's like, you know, that, that whole mentality is wrong. I mean, where this just happened is where uh, Michael uh, Jordan's uh, mansion is. Uh, I don't think it's sold yet. It's been a for sale for so long, you know. But nonetheless, I digress. Well, I don't have to digress. I'm saying stuff that's in line with what I want to say. But, yeah, so that's all. Just be sure that you're walk. If you are, call yourself a Christian, be sure you're walking as a Christian. It's not about going into buildings on Sundays and attending Bible studies and, you know, worshiping buildings and worshiping religious leaders. It's not about that. It's not about tithing. It's not about that. It's about glorifying God and it's about preaching to others that they will repent and come to Christ Jesus. And if you are not a believer in Christ Jesus or you're not saved, if you've never submitted your life to Christ, please, I beg you in the name of Jesus to repent of everything that you're doing that is against him because you are not a friend of his. You are not a friend of God's and you are an enemy of God and his wrath is true and real. You know, you know, you weren't brought into this world to to be sinful and live a sinful life or to be an enemy of God in his world. So let us just be wise and be careful. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you very much. Bye-bye for now.